Welcome to Ask a Member, a program of the Adrian Area Chamber of Commerce. I'm Ann Hughes, President of the Chamber, and it's my pleasure today to welcome Ron Kelly, owner of Gear Up, one Thank of our much. neighbors right across the street. Yes, yeah. And you're our first uh, interview in, in our new location. Beautiful building. Yeah, it's really nice. It's great. We like being back Good. out on the street and in the middle of downtown Adrian. This Good. is a great block. Yep, it is. So, how long have you been across the street? Uh, for 11 years. <laughs> in that building there. We started two years before that uh, down on Maumee Street. Okay. And give us a little bit of history. Uh, came from the Maumee Company, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I, I worked for Maumee Company 17 years, a salesman, which sold, you know, sporting goods to schools and corporate people. And <clears throat> they, when they had shut down, my wife and I decided that we were going to try to buy it and open it back up. So... More or less, I guess it's the only thing I've ever done. So I don't know if I'm great at it, but okay. <laughs> we've been doing it for a long, uh, mm -hmm. for myself for like 30 years now. Okay. So do you, and you brought some products um, mm -hmm. that we'll look at in a little bit, but do you do, um, do you go out and make cold calls yes. on, on local businesses and schools and yes. sporting <clears throat> organizations? Yep, when it's school related, all the county schools we do something with. Um, you know, most of the, the team uniforms are set up differently, but we do a lot of, we almost call ourselves like we're a spirit pack s store. Uh, you know, we, we do all the t-shirts for them, the sweatshirts, and nowadays, by the way, the money is in the schools, <coughs> you know, they don't supply that with the kids anymore. So then the parents so pay more money for it. To, um, <laughs> yeah. They have to buy that. Right. So that's, you know, you, you said, you know, you're kind of like a spirit store. And that's maybe maybe we already have that, but I think that that's something that that we need downtown. Yeah. And maybe what it is that it's taking your store and promoting it as the spirit store for families right. and individuals and tourists and that to go to to buy um, regalia from right. from whatever <clears throat> school district or organization yeah. that they're in. Yeah, and, and that's I think that's mainly our retail floor. That's what I have apparently nicknamed it you know, in ads and stuff that we run as, you know, the, the local school spirit store. And there are other companies like us around. But, I mean, we try to do something for all the county schools. <clears throat> and just outside the county, I guess we do a lot for, uh, at least retail-wise, where people can come in if their daughter, let's say, goes or son goes to Siena Heights, they can come to our store on a Saturday if they're in town <clears throat> and buy something that says Siena Heights on. Or okay. for Adrian or you know, any of the lookouts or the... Dirt bag teams mm -hmm. and stuff like that, which are little league teams. So, okay. it's, it's so we we need as a chamber, we need to promote that more. For it, you, it'd be helpful. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we need to promote yeah. that more. You're one of our uh, <laughs> longest term members of the chamber, so we need to be uh, we need to be letting people know that. But I always think of Gear Up as um, I know you do the engraving and the trophies, mm -hmm. and you do our golf tournament and things like that for us. But I always think of you just supplying teams and school yeah. districts. Uh, I don't think about you so much as walk-in yeah. retail, but yeah. you are. Yeah, <clears throat> and it, when we moved to this building, which was very nice because uh, it had a retail place, and a lot of companies that you deal with, our vendors, ask us if we have retail. Mm -hmm. and, then, and that's a little easier for us to be open for them, then, or for us to get open by them, <clears throat> because they wanted their products hanging somewhere, not just... Not just being shipped out to right, a, a school district. Yeah. And, and we do a lot of corporate clothing, again, like you, like you said, for your golf mm -hmm. tournament stuff. And uh, we do, we go around and hit up the new businesses and or existing businesses to see if we can get do their embroidery for them. Because mm -hmm. we do, we do in-house embroidery. Okay. Um, T tell us about your services. So obviously you do screen printing. Yeah. We do a, it's... I would say it's in house, but it's done in my garage. It's done in your garage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So I go home. Every well, day I've, to do I've this. been in your I've been in your store a number of times, and there's yeah. always so much activity out in that back room. Yeah, we try to. I try. I and granted, I only have probably two employees other than myself, but uh, try to keep them busy. Uh, again, like I said, we do do a lot of embroidery. It's all custom. Uh, <clears throat> the good thing is about our store, I guess, is which is a little bit unique from others, is uh, if you come in and you want. Oh, I don't, Adrian High School embroidered on your jacket. Let's just say mm -hmm. uh, we'll do one. I mean, we don't have minimums. So okay, um, that's that's good yeah. to know. And uh, and I know other companies, and and it's costly. Oh, well, it gets costly, but we do it because it's a service that nobody else will do. Oh, and for instance, part of finding your niche. Exactly. And, yeah. And, uh, and filling <laughs> yeah. it. That's smart. <clears throat> kind of like the the guy who starts a lawn business that can't afford. 
12 shirts, he only needs five, let's just say. Mm -hmm. We'll do five for him. You know, it's, it's, a, it's an easy process, and it does take a little, it's a little more time, but it's, we get that customer back. Okay. I guess the biggest thing is I worry about the little guy but more than I do the big guy. Well, that's good. Somebody's, somebody's got to worry about the little yeah, guy and exactly. take care of yeah. Ron. It might as well be you. <laughs> so, but you do all the screen printing? Like this is the Saints yep. shirt? Yep, at the Saints. That's actually, <coughs> is like a, that. it's like a, it's a print of a, of a sort that is, it's come such a long ways since I've started doing it. <coughs> and we buy that on a sheet of paper and then we transfer it by heat, by heat. to a shirt. And uh, that's a good thing because if somebody comes in and says they want one shirt, we can print it for them within seven seconds and they'll walk out the door with it. My next question was how long was the process? <laughs> oh, yeah. take? It could take yeah. seven seconds. Okay, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's good. Um, the embroidery. Now, when you were out on West Mommy, we did a business after hours out there mm -hmm. at one time, and, mm -hmm. and the, uh, you know, the embroidery machines mm -hmm. were just incredible with all, right. the, yeah. all the spools of thread and, right. yeah. and uh, you know, how much could be done at a time. Those, those machines, <clears throat> now granted, I don't have those machines anymore. Uh, we do up to a six color embroidery. Uh, th those machines are expensive, very expensive, and the maintenance and plus with the size of my building now isn't mm -hmm. capable. You don't have that much yet. room. Yeah. So, <clears throat> but the two machines that we do have, I mean, are they seem to run, you know, eight hours a day, so which is good, and I run them on weekends. So. <laughs> okay. What what products can you embroider? Just about on anything. I mean, I try to shy away from leather, but we've done it on leather before. People have brought in like. Uh, seats for boats and they wanted their name on them embroidered on them <clears throat> and then they take the material back and then they make the seat mm -hmm. out of it and we've done it on those before and canvas really anything soft material cloth wise okay yeah i'd be afraid to put that needle down the first time yeah, on an expensive yeah. piece of leather and <laughs> yeah and we've done it, <laughs> <see> it. but <laughs> what um what's your favorite thing about the business uh i think owning it i mean that's something that i guess i've always done i think in the small time between uh, the company shutting down and then uh, Karen and I rebuying it. <coughs> um, I tried other things and it always seemed like people kept calling me for t-shirts or something. Mm -hmm. So I guess maybe that was what I was supposed to be here to do. <laughs> okay. So you do, you personally do all the screen printing in your garage? I do all, yeah. The, 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 wow. Yeah, the direct screen printing, yeah, I do that. Any idea how many shirts a year you screen print? Uh, boy, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I know today I've got about 250 that I have okay. to have done. <laughs> okay, lots, lots and lots of uh, dozens. Yeah. Um, if you were talking to somebody, brand new entrepreneur, young person thinking of going into business for himself or herself, what would you tell them? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, it's actually, it, it's a great thing. I mean, I never went to college for anything. So, I mean, I, I, mine is done by just experience. And uh, it, just knowing I guess I know my product so well mm -hmm. inside, you know, inside and out on what takes and what doesn't take, but that's by experience. Uh, <clears throat> opening a business, I think it would, it's great to, to own, at least to try it. You know, mm -hmm. it's one of those things that, and especially if you come down to Adrian and open it, that'd be great. That's know? right, that's right. We've got some uh, <laughs> facilities down here that you can open your business in, and, and downtown yeah. Adrian is, is, I think, on the move and moving upward, and, yes. and yeah. it's, a, it's a good time to think about locating yeah, here. Yeah, it is, yeah. I mean, it's going in the right direction. This, the, the, the town in certain areas has really become, it's attractive. And yeah. it's, it's getting there. So yep. Lots uh, of people are working hard. Yep. For the, for the, the biggest community. thing is, I guess, don't give up. I mean, I didn't give up even when we went bad. So, That's you right. know, when the town yep. went bad. It's, so. it's, it's persistence, you know, yeah. if you're thinking about what to tell yep. a new entrepreneur is, you know, be patient and don't expect yep. overnight success yep. or uh, lots of profits, yeah. but but yeah. just be uh, patient and persistent and faithful and Correct. and uh, it works. Yeah, it exactly. works. Yep. So, um, recap your, your products and services for <laughs> us again, Ron. Okay, uh, I guess on my ads, I run a uh, silk screening, embroidery trophies, engraving, uh, that's my main, and school spirit store is what we School spirit, at, that's important. Uh, yeah, I mean, we do have a lot of schools here in the and county. And there's a so, lot of spirit in the county yeah, too, there is, so, yeah. so yes. it's a and good way to meet that need. And where are you located? Uh, 150 North Main. Okay, right on the corner, corner of Toledo. Toledo and Main, yep. Okay. And like I said, we've been there for 11 years, so. Okay. Phone number? 265. Nine nine one one. <laughs> Thought I might get you there. You, you almost did. <laughs> almost almost did. gave you my cell number. <laughs> that would be all right too. Uh, so if you're in the market for anything, for uh, to create some spirit for your your organization, your business, your sports team, 
um, call Ron Kelly and um, and he'll meet all your needs, do whatever you need to do. I'll do my best. Okay, yes. thanks, Ron. Great, thank you very much. <laughs> bye bye.